Hi friends, my name is Dawn and I work at the Saskatoon Public Library and this is my son Owen and we are stuck in our house and trying to find fun things to do. So we're going to try making caterpillar or snake bubbles today and we thought you might want to join us. So Owen's is ready to go. Um, we started by making our bubble solution because we don't have bubble solution in our house for some reason and so we'll put the recipe for that up later but this recipe needs to be made and then you need to let it sit for an hour. So next we need a bottle and we're going to trim it just like Owen did his earlier. I'm going to cut the bottom off and then I don't know about you but at our house we have lots of socks that have no pairs. So we're going to cut the toe off of this sock and attach it to our bottle. Oh, there's an elastic back here. All right, so we're gonna take this sock and attach it onto the bottom of the bottle. And then we're going to elasticate just in case so it doesn't come off. All right, and then we're gonna try making snake bubbles. Do you wanna try first? Yes. Go for it. Oh, that's awesome. Woo! Your sock came off! Oh no! Here, try mine and I'll try putting your sock back on. Whoops! <laughs> oh, that's really cool. That makes a whole now lot of bubbles. Now let's try okay. putting colors on. Okay, try putting some colors on. I'm gonna use this so to Not too much. Just do one or two clothing. drops on. Okay. I'm gonna do two. Two drops? Okay. That seems like more than two. You count differently than I do. Okay. <laughs> oh, the wind is taking your snake away. That's very cool. Do you want to dip it one more time? Do one more dip and see if you can get a really long caterpillar. Wait. Stop. It's a little messy. You might want to make sure to do this outside. <laughs> <laughs> very messy. <laughs> If you do do this at home, send us your pictures and your videos. We'd love to see what you've created, how much mess you can make outside in your yards. Thank